Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale MPC 1976 Chevy Caprice. Now this is a retro deluxe reissue. Uh, it features enhanced reissue features. All original parts are redone. They were retooled so that they're nice and crisp. Hopefully uh, not much mold lines or anything like that. Uh, no uh, extra flashing. It also includes the mini display box as well as this vintage packaging which I will show you guys here real real quick before I open up the box and show you guys what all comes inside. Now this is somewhat of a three-in-one kit because you can build it as a stock Caprice, you can build it as a uh, Caprice hauler with the trailer that's included or you can build it as a security car model. So and they actually do give you some photos of that and this like I said is the reissue so this is the vintage box this is I'm assuming the way that this came when this kit was originally released whenever that might have been and on the back here which is what I like about these MPC models you have the parts overview there it shows you exactly what comes in the box as well as what all the trees look like and everything else decals uh, clear parts it's a skill level 2 kit which means you will need paint and glue to complete this kit and you can build it according to the box art or you can build it any way you want. So now let me open this up and I will show you guys what all comes inside and let you guys know what I think of this kit. One thing to note too, this is a very stiff durable box so this shouldn't uh, break down or uh, get damaged in shipping or anything. Now when you first open the model you're going to see you have your instruction manual here and this is a very simple instruction manual there's only a couple pages to it and it basically just shows you how to assemble the model and there's the uh, how to assemble the trailer there uh, on the front it basically just gives you a uh, little you know information nothing too fancy and you have an MPC sticker which you can put on anything bumper sticker or on one of your toolboxes or something and also included here are the decals get those out and show you guys real quick these decals look very nice I really do like these decals there aren't too many of them but the ones that you see here are very nice quality also they include some uh, information about some models as well as a card here to uh, sign up and here is your little mini MPC box which you can cut out and fold up and onto the kit itself here is the white molded body and chassis I'll go over all these white molded pieces at the end here's another bag with uh, the trailer and some other parts for the car itself Here's your chrome parts tree. There aren't too many pieces here. You got some hubcaps, some wheels for the trailer. Uh, looks like you got your grill, bumpers. Uh, looks like this is for the trailer as well, and just some other accent pieces, some chrome parts for the engine. So overall, chrome parts look to be pretty nice. Um, they're not quite as crisp as what some of the uh, Ravel kits are, but overall looks to be very nice. No flash, no. Uh, imperfections in the chrome it's nice and shiny just like you want here are the included tires these are black vinyl tires molded very nice there's six of them included four for the car and two for the trailer they appear to be all the same size which I would assume to be 15 inch maybe 14s here's your uh, glass and this is one molded piece you have your front and then back side windows and then your rear window and there's your tail lights as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'll move all this out of the way and then I'll open up these two white molded bags here and I'll show you guys what's all in there and then I'll let you guys know what I think of the model. When you open up your two bags of white molded parts here's what you'll find. There are five parts trees all together not including the body, interior tub, and chassis. First off, looking at the body, seems to be molded pretty nice. Uh, there is some flash on it, however, um, doesn't look too bad, honestly. 
You know, it's going to need a little uh, sanding here and there, but overall, very nice. Here's your interior tub. Also looks to be pretty nice. Uh, the detailing on the seat and the floor is very nice. The only thing I can see that I don't like is there's some injection, uh, some pretty large injection pen marks here. Uh, however, hopefully when the seats and everything else are in, that will be covered up. Here is your chassis. It is a simplified chassis. It has the, some of the exhaust molded in, some of the suspension molded in, and there's these two large sink marks right there. Uh, some flashing overall. Um, detailing seems to be pretty good though, even though things are molded in. It looks like on the other side. Those are those. And uh, then let's go over. Here's the trailer. You have two trees for your trailer. Everything looks to be molded nice. Nothing uh, appears to be warped at all. Everything looks to be pretty crisp. A little bit of flash, like I said, but nothing that a knife and a little bit of sandpaper can't clean up. Uh, here's your engine pieces, your hood dashboard and I believe this is another uh, a body piece here this might be a piece for the trailer some of these fell off during the uh, shipping of the model here's your bench seat nice detail moldings pretty good on that here's your rear suspension it's simplified also as your exhaust molded in which is nice that they didn't mold the entire exhaust in however it would have been nice if they just would have done the complete exhaust and then I believe this is a radiator hose right here and last but not least uh, here's your steering wheel this one of the pieces that fell off looks to be molded nice with the steering shaft molded in uh, here's one of your exhaust manifolds and there's the other one not too much detail but not the worst I've seen for sure. You get your firewall and your grill. The uh, very simplified here, like I said. Uh, here's your lower radiator hose, I believe that to be. And uh, there is actually, well, there's a little bit of detail on the firewall. But I mean, if you look at the radiator, it's just basically kind of scratched in there. So. Alright guys, there's all the white molded pieces. Everything looks to be pretty good. A little bit of flash, uh, some mold lines here and there. Uh, the injection mark, uh, injection pin marks, uh, that's very bad on this kit from what it looks like. Uh, it didn't look too closely on the other pieces, but it looks like these are about the worst when it comes to the uh, pin hole marks. So that wraps it up for all of the uh, white molded pieces. Alright, in conclusion, after looking at all the stuff that comes in this model, I will say that I am very impressed with this model. Besides the fact of the mold lines and a little bit of flash and the kind of bad injection mold pin marks, uh, this kit is really nice. Uh, I would highly recommend anyone getting it. Uh, you can get it for roughly $20 to $25 depending on where you shop and where you live. And uh, this is an awesome kit, like I said. Uh, it comes with a trailer. You can build it a few different ways. It has some extra parts. Everything looks to be really nice. Uh, no um, downsides that I can see. Like I said, um, anybody who's put together a few models shouldn't have a problem with this at all. This is an excellent candidate as well for scratch building projects. Um, since it's a simplified model, yet it does have enough detail to where if you want to make it a show winning car, then definitely you can do it with this. So. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Rate the video, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Have a great day.